um, if we want to eliminate the parameter, guys, or you know, basically the question is saying, eliminate the parameter and describe the graph. Now, typically, guys, when we're looking to describe in a graph, we want to solve for y. Would you guys agree? Like if I said y equals 2x, it's a line. y equals 2x squared, it's a parabola. So I understand when something's solved for y, I can describe what type of graph. There's 12 basic functions that we've covered in this class. right? And if I give you one of those 12 functions, you could at least tell me, hey, that's that function, you know, that shape of the graph. Agreed? Maybe? Well, there's that. So hopefully we can at least cover this one. So therefore, I want to solve for y. Now the problem is, I want to put my calculator down because we're not using our calculators right now. That's the reason why I didn't give you guys calculators before, because we're just paying attention up here and looking up here, though. So what we're going to want to do is um, find the value of t. Well, I have another equation for t, for x, I'm sorry, in terms of t. So like we did um, substitution in algebra 1 and algebra 2, what we can do is we can solve for t for this equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a 6. We have x plus 6 equals 2t divided by 2. So therefore, I could say t is equal to x plus 6 divided by 2. Or you could also write it like this. Right? doesn't really matter, however you want to think about it or whatever makes sense, more sense to you. But now I know the value of t. And again, I want my equation y to just be terms of x. I don't want t. Right? That's the eliminating the parameter port. So I'm going to do 9 minus 4. I'm just going to use this version. Actually, you know what? I'll use this version. Now we just simplify. Well, negative 4 divided by 2 goes to a negative 2. Don't forget the parentheses. You still have to distribute the negative 2. So then I get y equals 9 minus 2x minus 12. Combine like terms y equals negative 2x minus 3. That is the rectangular equation. If you wanted to plug those into your calculator, you would get a line that represents that negative 2x minus 3. right? Um, and again, obviously, you can say that this is a line. OK? Now let's go and look into another example. 